What's up, guys? Uh, let's try. I want to install a remote start today. Sorry, my garage, we're not done moving in. And I have, as you can see, projects on projects, headlights, DRLs, bumper, custom stuff. So much stuff going on. This car is about to get turboed. So my, there's parts everywhere for this red car. The white car, I still have the brakes that I have not installed yet, as you can see over there. The wheels, the side bond lip, it's right here. The carbon fire steering wheel. I have not installed anything yet because, like I said, this whole coronavirus bullshit and just so much stuff going on right now and moving. Fuck. And then I locked the car. Let me go get the keys. But yeah, so much going on right now that I have not been able to do anything to the Lexus. Oh yeah, it's excuse to mess with all the oil stuff. Those are old old oils. I'm supposed to go drop off. Okay. I don't know if I can do it in the garage. It's all tight in here. You like the stickers? I got the stickers on. Okay. So from what I have been reading, instructions. I need to take this piece off, and I hate taking this piece off because putting it back in sucks. Pop this off, and now I'm gonna have to pop this whole thing off. Okay, so you put a pry tool on here. You pop this piece out. Once you pop that piece out, you literally just put your hand right here, or a pry tool, and just pop down, and this whole thing just falls down on both sides uh, I had extra stuff like my epexy throttle controller I had to take apart and put it through the hole so it didn't go down farther this gray clip went into this for the cluster this black one went here for the uh, blind spot monitoring and the hood thing came off so I gotta figure out how to put that back on for the hood and once all that is out. I don't know if you can see back there. You see that empty clip right there? <clears throat> That's the BSM. The top one is empty, as you can see. The middle one, right in the middle of the screen. And the bottom one where there's a clip. You have to pop that middle one out. There's a T-harness that will go in there. Which is right. Give me a second. box here's the harness this harness is super easy this kit is super easy it's worth the money it's a little bit more expensive you want OEM factory remote like I do say so this is a T harness there's two white clips you unplug that you plug this back in and where you unplug you plug it back in here so let me get that done, I'll get back with you. Okay, that T-harness that I showed you guys earlier. Okay, you see the black wrap wires right there where it was empty earlier? You plug it into there, the aftermarket harness, and the plug that you unplug, there's a harness on the other side. You just plug it in, which is right here. It's all tucked in here somewhere and then the third side of the wires you tuck it under the dash somewhere and you go out and under the steering wheel now you got to remove this plastic piece and you plug it into the SLP harness and this harness goes into the box so it's really simple you unplug one plug in there you plug the aftermarket harness in then to the T harness, the second set of wires that goes under the steering wheel, you unplug the one plug and you plug this in line and plug the other side into here. You plug the black box into here and you zip tie everything neatly and plug everything up, you're done. 
super easy. So let me take this apart for you guys. Hit this twice. So you turn the steering wheels and then you remove the two screws on each side and you literally just put your hands on both sides of the console and just push together then the bottom part will come off. Once it does, under the steering wheel, I don't know if you can see it, there's that silver box right there. Right behind it, there's that tab. You unplug that tab. This is the aftermarket harness I'm holding. I plugged it in already. This is the plug that you unplug. So you plug it back into the aftermarket harness right here. From here, you would tip to program it. See the red and blue wires? It just goes on the back of this. So I put the camera right here somewhere. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> Plug in the red connector module to the module. So red connector. Sorry. Okay. Red connector goes into the module. Okay. Hold down the button on the module and plug in the blue connector into the module. So hold down the button, there's a button on the side, only button I see. Hold it and plug in the blue one. And then re release the button. When the light turns orange, which it did, it will now turn solid red. Press the push to start button twice with, to turn on the ignition. One, two. The LED will turn solid green or orange. It's orange. If it turns green, you are done. If it turns orange, continue with the steps, which is orange. FML. Press the start stop button once to turn the ignition off. So now I gotta turn it off. Okay, press the start stop button twice to turn it on again. Then the LED will turn solid green for about three seconds and shut off. See, now it's green. We're all done. It's programmed. So now comes the moment of truth. See, everything works. And put everything back together, which I am freaking dreading. Okay, take the car off. Everything is programmed. Grab the keys. Again, one, two, three. works perfect now you have remote start super easy kit I got it at 12 volt solutions.com they have a sale going on right now they have 19 days left it's like 250 for this and uh, I got for like 220 and they have add-ons for like you know you can start lock your car anywhere in the world that's a separate remote which I don't need I don't travel um, I have it on the red car, it comes with it, and then I, I barely use it. Uh, 
and it comes with the, the app, which I don't need neither. Um, I just like to warm up my car, get the oil going, get the supercharger, everything hot before I even drive. So that's the reason why I got it. I like to warm up my car before I drive it. That's just, you know, something my dad taught me and it's stuck with me ever since. That's the only reason I got it. So if you guys are looking for that kit, they have it on 12voltsolutions.com. It's on sale right now. And uh, it's a great kit, simple kit, man. Three wire, like not three wires, but three outlets. You know what I mean? Like one set of wires go to one plug, one set of wires go to under the steering wheel, the other set goes into the module and you're done. That's all you gotta do. Uh, super simple. But yeah, I uh, hope y'all found this helpful. You have any questions, let me know. Uh, hit, you know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I have a lot more coming. Y'all know I, I have a lot of mods coming for this car. I just have not had time to install it. Uh, but I will start getting on top of it. And if y'all are interested in this car, you know, four-door sedan making close to a thousand horsepower turbo, that's gonna be done soon. And I'm, I have a lot of stuff coming for this car also. It's going to be a bad, bad car. Uh, but yeah, the Lexus, back to this. I have a lot of stuff coming for this car. And, uh, you know, Android screen, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the like button or dislike. If you don't like the video, it helps. Um, if you have any questions, ask me. I, I'm good with that. I'm good at helping people, you know. I'm, I'm active on the Lexus forums, pages, and I help people all the time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, please subscribe, share. Um, I know it's not the best video. I'll try to, you know, I'm, trying, I'm getting into editing a little bit. So, it will get better slowly. But, yeah. Thanks, guys.